This is Madiba's legacy. It's a living legacy. It will heal hearts. And that's what it's about. It's about every child who passes through our hands would have experienced the spirit of Dadu Nelson Mandela. This is the fifth children's hospital of its kind in the continent. It's important to remember that, because in a big way, it's groundbreaking. It's helping us to create the kind of world we want our children to inherit. 20 years from today, when we look at what we've done, what we will see is Africa having built its own knowledge base for its children. Africa needs to begin to define and redefine itself. And this is a redefinition of the Africa that we want our children to inherit. This hospital is going to solve its own problem with regard to training as soon as we get functional. So it's becoming a major training center for both nursing, pediatrics, and pediatric subspecialty training. So in a way, we will, we've got to get enough to get going. But once we get going, I think we will train far more than for our own needs. In fact, we are aiming to train for, for the more than part of this country, if not uh, beyond. It's actually two, two, 238 beds. But in the next phase, which we believe it could be coming through in the next five years, just depending on how the demand and supply goes, um, it will then be able to three to go to 300. You would you would you would remember you know those of you who have uh, either looked at the children's hospital is that normally when it exceeds anything more than 300 and 350 then you really need another hospital. So as uh, CEO said, you know we think this would be able to start activating even either within this country and even in the surrounding countries to have a similar hospital if let's say we hit the more than 300 beds, because then it means the demand is just so high. So this is just a um, pathfinder to something that has been ignored all along.